right. iPhone 11 Pro Max vs Samsung Note 10 Plus. Let's do this. Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Thiel. I'm a display reviewer and professional calibrator. Today, we are going to compare the HDR picture quality of the iPhone 11 Pro Max versus the Samsung Note 10 Plus. First, please be aware that the 6.8 inch Note 10 Plus has a bigger screen than the 6.5 inch iPhone 11 Pro Max. So if size is important to you, then you can stop watching this video right now really. The Note 10 Plus is the winner. When zooming in video content to fill up the screen, we also found the camera punch hole on the Note 10 Plus to be significantly less intrusive than the notch on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. To carry out objective measurements and subjective assessment of HDR picture quality, we made sure to disable auto brightness and true tone on the iPhone and set brightness to maximum. For the Samsung, we put it into high performance mode, disable blue light filter and adaptive brightness, then set brightness to maximum. We displayed a 10% window from Diversified Video Solutions UHD HDR10 test pattern suite on both phones and measured a peak brightness of 1100 nits on the Note 10 Plus and 880 nits on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, so the Samsung was slightly brighter on smaller window sizes. Even though full screen brightness was very similar between both phones, with the iPhone consistently nudging ahead by a negligible 5 nits, probably due to a slightly smaller screen size. When it came to perceptual quantization electro optical transfer function or PQEOTF, the Note 10 Plus tracked somewhat brighter than the ST2084 reference standard throughout the entire luminance range suggesting a deliberate brightening on Samsung's part, which is of course something that the South Korean brand likes to do even on their QLED televisions. The iPhone 11 Pro Max followed the PQEOTF curve closely up to around 50 nits, but after that tracked darker than reference in order to tone map 1000 nit detail down to the phone's peak brightness of 880 nits. Both phones resolve bright detail up to 1000 nits for HDR10 content. Apple did a good job on the iPhone 11 Pro Max color accuracy in terms of DCI-P3 color tracking within a Rack 2020 container, whereas the Samsung Note 10 Plus fell behind in this regard, probably because the colors were diluted by the overbright EOTF tracking, as you can see in this side-by-side -side comparison between the two phones. Indeed, when we played the UHD HDR demo loop from Spears and Mansell using the phone's respective video players, the Note 10 Plus generally appeared slightly brighter with the colors looking more fluorescent, while the iPhone 11 Pro Max came across more natural in its HDR presentation. Next, we checked out shadow detail on this black clipping pattern, again from Diversified Video Solutions, and the Samsung Note 10 Plus crushed a bit more shadow detail than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Please ignore the video noise and color differences introduced in this footage. That's because we had to bump up camera ISO so much to capture dark detail. Gradation quality also went in favor of the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which exhibited less posterization than the Samsung Note 10 Plus, not only in various color ramp patterns from diversified video solutions, but also real-world footage from Spears and Mansell. The two important apps that do HDR on smartphones are YouTube and Netflix, so let's compare those. The YouTube app on the Samsung Note 10 Plus could go up to 1440p resolution and preserved more specular highlight detail, whereas the iOS version on the iPhone 11 Pro Max clipped more bright detail in the sun and the clouds and was capped at 1080p. Perhaps this difference is caused by the optimization done by Google for Android phones. Remember, Google owns YouTube too. As for Netflix, we are convinced that the differences we were seeing is more to do with Dolby Vision versus HDR10 rather than the inbuilt tone mapping of the phones themselves. So, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which could play Netflix shows in Dolby Vision, would not only preserve more specular highlight detail in brighter scenes, 
but also generate more pop with clearer shadow detail in darker scenes. We have seen similar improvements on Dolby Vision televisions in side-by-side -side comparisons against HDR10. And that, my friend, is the beauty of dynamic metadata, allowing for tone curve optimization on a scene-by-scene -scene or even frame-by-frame -frame basis. The Samsung Note 10 Plus does support the HDR10 Plus Open Standard Dynamic Metadata technology. But because the Amazon app on iOS doesn't even support HDR, it is not something that we can compare in this video. To sum up, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, on the whole, delivers better HDR picture quality than the Samsung Note 10 Plus. Despite having slightly lower peak brightness, the iPhone 11 Pro Max presents more accurate colors, clearer shadow detail, better gradation, and a superior Netflix experience thanks to Dolby Vision support. It is not all one-way traffic though. Where the Samsung Note 10 Plus has the upper hand are its larger screen size, as well as optimized YouTube app with higher resolution and better preservation of specular highlight detail. We know most people will buy new phones based mainly on other factors such as iOS or Android operating system, camera performance, and battery life. But at least after watching this video, you now know how the HDR picture quality compares between these two flagship smartphones. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.